tough one. Um, and today was an incredibly emotional game for for me, um, <clears throat> our players, everybody. Uh, first of all, I just grew up looking up to Dawn Staley. Uh, I just have so much respect for her as a person. Um, she has become a mentor of mine, and um, to be able to take in the overtime, like have an opportunity to win after being our third game in the week is incredible. Uh, um, the fans, man. First time I played South Carolina here, we may have had 500 people. Nobody was in. Nobody was in the pavilion. And the only reason why I remember because I was embarrassed because, like I told y'all, I looked up to Dawn at, and and I know like she's built something and I'm trying to build something and we have 500 fans and and today to hear the fans and they were so engaged and they almost took us to the W. You know, I love Ole Miss. Um, I have a lot of pride being a part of the Oxford community, and I have a lot of pride being the head coach here. So this was just an incredible atmosphere. And at the end of the day, someone had to lose. I hate it's us, but it was good for the game of basketball. And I think it shows people that we're a program to be reckoned with. So. Questions for Coach? Yo, yo, can you take us through that um, last possession in regulation? Well, the possession before, I thought we should have gone to the free throw line. I'm not blaming the refs. I just thought we should have gone to the free throw line. Uh, she got hit on the shot. It, it was an easy miss. Um, so I don't think they intentionally missed it. So I'm not critiquing them, whatever. But, um, and then Kui turned the corner and just lost a balance. Um, and that was a moral of the story. Um, had she kept a balance or even kept the ball in bounds, maybe we have a chance and we just lost an opportunity there, you know? Hey, look. They hadn't lost a game all year, so if you're going to beat them, you got you to gotta get them when you can. And I just hate that we couldn't get them right there at the end, you know. thought in overtime, it, they, their experience just burst onto the scene. And, you know, they've been on the big stage, man. Uh, so it took over. Uh, you talked about this is a rebuilding program. Reconstruction. Reconstruction yes. program. But what has this last four days of these past two games shown you, or what have you learned from, from where this program is and how you want it to be? Like I said in the, in the opening statement, you know, this is why I'm here. This is what I'm. This is what I want to do. I want to. There's only three teams we hadn't beat in my tenure here: South Carolina, LSU, and Tennessee. And so. Uh, you know that's that's on they're on the they're on my little board, <laughs> um, and we had an opportunity tonight. So obviously it hurts because I thought we could win, and maybe a year ago I didn't think we could win. <laughs> so that shows you. And then of course for recruits, the sip is the move. Look, look what we've done. You know. The American Heritage Tribe, like, they came out. I told, I told the chief I felt their spirit the whole game. Like, it was just an amazing atmosphere. And I've coached in big games, you know. And we've been to South Carolina, and it's, it was like match for match on the energy and the excitement. And that's what I'm trying to tell our fans. Like, this was our first ranked team at home. Every other ranked team we've played, we've played on the road. That's what people are not talking about. Like, we've been on the road tussling or on neutral sites. So imagine next year when 
flips and some of those teams start coming to us, we got to make this place a ruckus environment to play. Don, they couldn't even hear at one point. That's called home court advantage. So um, that's what it means, and I'm hoping that we keep doing it, you know? about the fans, but your women are also really passionate when they're there on the hardwood. Is that from you or is that just something they bring? Talk a little bit about that. Well, it's hard to hang around me and not be passionate. <laughs> um, you know, I learned passion at a young age. Um, I was five and my dad had lost in a championship game and the whole gym cleared out and I stayed with him and I just remember him sitting behind the beach, bleachers crying, and I remember going behind the bleachers and crying with him. That's passion. So it's it's our program. It's in our DNA. It's what we're about, you know. And our players, they believe, and. Uh, and this loss hurts because we wanted to win. We thought we could win if we put ourselves in a position to win. And, uh, you know, but speed kills. So I have to just continue to be patient and continue to build. And I'm so proud of my players. I'm so proud of my staff. Like, we worked our butts off. We've been grinding, man. Um, and so I hate we couldn't get this win tonight, you know. You told us in, in the midweek last week that you felt like you weren't that far off LSU and South Carolina. You I told you. <laughs> How do you feel now? I told you. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Like, my team's a top 25 team in the country. Go write that. Look what we're doing. Utah, Oklahoma, LSU, South Carolina. Look at what we're doing. Who else? Who else is taking one other team took South Carolina in overtime, Stanford? Who else? So we don't care about rankings. We, we're, we're one of the best in the country. The net tells it. Our scores tell it. Ask the coaches that we go up against. We, we're on the move, man. We're, we're building. Good times ahead. And we're just getting started. I'm the young Thundercat in the group. On a final buzzer sounds, and you guys, there's everybody's not, I don't think anybody left the, 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 the arena, and, and you're getting this round of applause. What, what does that mean to you? Everything. The South Carolina players were commending me. They remember, Aaliyah Boston and Zaya Cook, they remember coming in here, and we scored two points in a half. So they were telling me, like, <laughs> it was kind of, it was, it was so funny because they was like, Coach, we see you. <laughs> you know, so we're just going to keep going. I, I, it's not even like we lost the game, so it's like not a moral victory. It's just like where we're trying to go, you know. And I'm not going to rest until we win one, you know, but we are on the right track. And, and I love the Oxford community. I am – in the Oxford community, they see me at my daughter's games, soccer. I go to church with them. Like, I am a part of the Oxford community. Um, the only thing I hadn't done yet is do the mud thingy. They can't convince me to do that. I ain't that Mississippi. But other than, <laughs> other than that, I'm full, like, I'm fully a part of this community. And I love it, and they love me back, and they love our team back. And that's why, that's why I love it here. So where do you kind of find that balance in trying to encourage your players but also don't want them to settle with just coming close, just competing? I mean, they're not settling, you know. Um, they want more. They're hurt, just like me. You know, I, I, I was incredibly emotional after the game, you know, and we've been in some hard-fought bouts. Um, they they understand. Uh, this was this was a win for our team, in a lot of ways. Um, Y'all don't know this, but our team has been struggling with believing, you know, in themselves. They don't see the rankings. No one's ranking them. No one's talking about them. Um, 
And I've been trying, and my staff, we've been trying to infuse that in them. Like, we're, a real, we're the real deal. So, uh, if anything, it's going to encourage us. And we, we would like to close out with a win at home on Thursday and, um, and then go battle it out with Alabama. This last week of three games in a, in a week have really all kind of felt like March games in February. Like, what does this kind of do for y'all going into the postseason? That's a great question. It prepares us for sure. I'm telling y'all, if y'all want to, we want to win when we get to the NCAA tournament. We don't want to go, we're not just happy to be there. That was last year. So we have decided as a team to use these last three games to prepare okay, to make a run in the SEC tournament and also to make a run in the NCAA tournament. So I asked my team to get 1% better tonight. I'd like to think we got at least 5% better tonight. So I'll take that, and we'll continue to build on that. You talk about you, points you, you and your team kind of learn after these losses, and then you may have kind of answered it in other questions, but what do you hope that they have learned or yeah. will learn when I today and this week? Yeah, I mean, I hope that they understand that we belong. We were, we've been right there. I'm not just talking about South Carolina, y'all. I'm talking about LSU, Utah, Oklahoma. We're right there. Like, I can taste it. Uh, but I believe in the process, too, now, you know? Um, and this is our process. And, uh, you know, Chief gave me this medallion, and I swear this is going everywhere with me. We were banking in shots. We were doing stuff. I, I felt the spirit, baby. Uh, and I may not wear it. It may be tucked in, but this bad, this is going to be with me. I'm a part of the tribe, honorary. Um, and we're just going to keep going, moving forward. Thank you all. Thank you.